I'm David Toman, author of NootropicsExpert.com. In this video, I'm going to share with you what I know about ashwagandha, what it is, why we use it, the science behind it, dosage, and possible side effects. Ashwagandha is one of the most powerful herbs in Ayurvedic healing. This ancient remedy has remarkable stress-relieving properties and stands shoulder to shoulder with some of the most potent drugs used to treat depression and anxiety. In Sanskrit, ashwagandha means smell of horse, meaning this herb imparts the strength and vigor of a stallion. Ashwagandha is often referred to as Indian ginseng because of its rejuvenating properties. But botanically, ashwagandha and ginseng are not related. Native to India, Pakistan, and Sri Lanka, ashwagandha is now being grown in other regions, including the United States. Ashwagandha is in the same family as the tomato. It's a small, woody shrub with oval leaves and five-petal yellow flowers. The fruit is red and about the size of a raisin. The plant is also known as the winter cherry. Ashwagandha is known as, as an adaptogen, which means it helps your body adapt to both mental and physical stress. The Indian Materia Medica lists ashwagandha for general debility, impotence, general aphrodisiac properties, brain fatigue, low sperm count, nervous exhaustion, and where general vigor must be restored. Ashwagandha extract has been shown to be an effective antioxidant in the brain, clearing the cellular waste implicated in Alzheimer's disease. It also boosts memory and cognition by reducing stress and increasing acetylcholine and regeneration of ner nerve networks in the brain. So how does ashwagandha work in the brain? Well, it boosts brain health and function in several ways, but two in particular stand out. First, ashwagandha enhances GABA receptors and serotonin in the brain. It works to, be, to repair neuron receptors, enabling GABA to connect easier. This inhibits the signals present under a stress response in the brain, and anxiety goes down. The study was conducted at the Canadian College of Naturopathic Medicine with 75 volunteers with moderate to severe anxiety. Ashwagandha produced a significant decrease in anxiety levels over the control group. And second, ashwagandha improves cognitive and psychomotor performance in a healthy brain. Researchers at Nizam's Institute of Medical Sciences at Hyderabad, India worked with 25 healthy male volunteers. In this double-blind, placebo-controlled trial, participants were given 250 milligram capsules of standardized ashwagandha extract for 14 days. Significant improvements in reaction times were reported at the end of the trial. The study suggests that ashwagandha extract improves cognitive and psychomotor performance even when you're in the best of health. And we're going to talk a little bit about how things go bad in the brain because this affects pretty much all of us at one time or another, and it's about chronic stress. Chronic stress and cortisol can damage your brain. Neuroscientists at the University of California, Berkeley, found that chronic stress triggers long-term changes in brain structure and function. Chronic stress changes neural networks. Cortisol creates a domino effect that hardwires pathways between the hippocampus and amygdala. The amygdala, the lizard brain, is the area responsible for your fight or flight response. This hardwiring caused by stress is not the way the brain was designed. But chronic ongoing stress tricks the brain into rebuilding circuits and hunkering down for the long haul. Now get this, this rewiring appears to be permanent unless you intervene with something like ashwagandha. Chronic stress seems to flip a switch in the stem cells in the brain, 
and turns them into a type of cell that prevents connections to, prefront to the prefrontal cortex, preventing improved learning and memory, and laying down the scaffolding that's linked to anxiety, depression, and PTSD or post-traumatic stress disorder. To summarize, chronic stress coats neurons with myelin, chronic stress reduces the number of neurons, gray matter decreases and white matter increases. Under conditions of chronic stress and excess cortisol, your brain's neurons are coated or sheathed in myelin. Now under healthy conditions, this sheathing is a protective measure, but this excessive sheathing is like an evolutionary measure used to, enforce the, to reinforce the connection between the hippocampus and the amygdala, improving the flight or fight re response during extended periods of, uh, periods of threat or attack. In the modern world, chronic stress hijacks your fight or flight response system. It backfires in daily life in which you are not in physical danger. And this is where ashwagandha comes to the rescue. Ashwagandha undoes damage to the brain caused by chronic stress and keeps it healthy. Ashwagandha improves cognitive function. The glycano, glycoanalides, one of the compounds found in this herb, reduces cortisol. And overall energy levels are enhanced through uh, optimizing mitochondrial function. It also has a GABA mimicking it gaba mimicking effects in the brain, comparable to the effects of prescription benzodiazepines like lorazepam. Ashwagandha can also help prevent and repair damage caused by Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and Huntington's disease through its antioxidant and inflammation-reducing mechanisms. Ashwagandha even provides protection and regeneration of neurons during um, opiate and heroin withdrawal and eases withdrawal symptoms. In Ayurvedic medicine, Rasayana herbs are used to promote a youthful state of physical and mental health. The ancients considered Medya Rasayana herbs to be working with a higher brain function. These are mind rejuvenating herbs. Of the eight or nine most cherished herbal remedies, ashwagandha is the highest or most prominent of Ayurvedic Rasayana herbs, acting as an adaptogen, rejuvenating the nervous system and boosting the body's resilience to stress. So how does ashwagandha actually feel when you take it? Well, ashwagandha users report when they use it as a stress reliever. If you're experiencing severe fatigue and brain fog, it's likely due to stress. Chronic or severe stress can disguise itself in many ways, including in feeling abnormally fatigued. You find that you're not sleeping well. You don't feel rested or refreshed when waking up in the morning, even after taking a sleeping pill. Many report a rapid change in energy and motivation as soon as they take ashwagandha. Others won't feel the effects for a couple of weeks before relief sets in. You'll know ashwagandha is working when you wake up in the morning feeling refreshed and eagerly, for, eager, eagerly looking forward to starting your day. Ashwagandha is a great anti-anxiety aid. As an anti-anxiety aid, users say that they feel that their self-confidence has been restored. Your speech will feel more um, fluid and easier, especially in public settings. No more panic attacks. Ashwagandha is an antidepressant. Depression, even if it's not professionally diagnosed, can destroy your life. Ashwagandha users say it is the best antidepressant they've ever used. Their energy is restored, motivation is back, and they're able to focus. Ashwagandha works on many levels in the brain. Cortisol levels are stabilized, and the damage to the brain begins to correct itself. Acetylcholine levels rise, and you're able to think clearly again. Neurons get repaired, and cognition and memory return to levels you experienced when you were younger. And GABA receptor receptors are reactivated, producing a calming effect. We've got plenty of research to back up 
what we're talking about here with ashwagandha. For example, researchers at the Asha Hospital in Hyderabad, India did a double-blind, randomized, placebo-controlled trial with 64 subjects who had a history of chronic stress. The study group took 300 milligram capsules of full-spectrum ashwagandha root for 60 days. Follow-up calls to participants were done on the 15th, 30th, 45th, and 60th day of the trial. Researchers reported serum cortisol levels were substantially reduced. And the report concluded that the high, a high concentration full spectrum ashwagandha root extract safely and effectively improves individual resistance towards stress and thereby improves self assessed quality of life. We've got research showing in, in, the, in, in clinical studies showing ashwagandha as a good nootropic. Ashwagandha is an antidepressant. To see more on these studies and links to the actual clinical research, go to nootropicsexpert.com and just do a search for ashwagandha. Now, for uh, as for dosage, the Ayurvedic Pharmacopoeia of India recommends three to six grams daily of standard ground ashwagandha powder. For arthritis. 250 to 500 milligrams of extract. Now the extract that we're talking about for the rest of these has got 4 to 5% with analytes. For antioxidant production, 1 to 200 milligrams of the extract. For immunity, 1 to 200 milligrams. For relaxation, 250 to 500 milligrams of extract. For stress, 250 to 500 milligrams. And for sexual performance, 250 to 500 milligrams of extract. For higher doses, like 500 milligrams, take 250 milligrams in the morning and another 250 milligrams early afternoon. And note the distinction between standard ground ashwagandha powder and an extract. The extract is much more concentrated. As for side effects, now you should note that ashwagandha stimulates your thyroid. So if you, if you are hypothyroid, use ashwagandha with caution and check with your endocrinologist to be safe. Ashwagandha is non-toxic at moderate doses, but if you're pregnant, do not use ashwagandha as it could cause a miscarriage. This herb is an, as an adaptogen, it's got powerful hormonal effects. Ashwagandha can enhance the, enhance the effects of sedatives, antidepressant and anti-anxiety medications, including St. John's Wort. It can also interact and possibly amplify the effects of immune suppressants, blood pressure medication, and drugs used to, uh, to control blood glucose levels. Ashwagandha can boost the effects of alcohol. And do not use ashwagandha if you've got bleeding issues or before surgery. Other possible side effects include diarrhea, nausea, abdominal pain, drowsiness, and a slowed pulse. Now the forms that ashwagandha comes in, it's available as a powder, capsules, tincture, and tea. The root and berry of the plant are used. The ground root of the herbs are used as the base of an ashwagandha supplement. The active ingredients in ashwagandha include alkaloids, saponins, and withanolides. Look for the percentage of active ingredients listed on, on the bottle or the package. Typically, you'll see something like standardized to 4 or 5% with analytes. And avoid supplements that list any other ingredients on the label. And look for certified organic to ensure that the root used to make your ashwagandha supplement is free of heavy metals, pesticides, and herbicides. So my nootropics recommenda expert recommendation for ashwagandha extract is 250 to 500 milligrams per day.